Hi, crafty friends. Guys, I wanna show you a super easy idea with old books. Don't worry, these aren't like first edition of anything, but we're gonna make like the accordion uh, ornaments out of these. So I just created a shape, and then what I started doing is tracing it on, I have like a stack of six that I would cut at one time. I tried to cut more than that, but my scissors wasn't having it. So um, you can totally do any shape you want, cut it however you want, but I thought this teardrop one, I guess it's kind of a teardrop bobble-ish, uh, would be fun to do. So you can see there, I also have my ink pad down there. This isn't like an old book or anything like that. This is, I think, I don't even know, maybe I got to do it Dollar Tree, I can't remember, but I thought, ooh, let's add some distressing with the ink pad. So I don't even know how many I cut out. I just kept going until once I started gluing it all together, it got pretty thick and I would just kind of test it every once in a while, putting it all together, you know, folding it over onto itself once we start gluing to get to the thickness that I wanted. So I'm just using a sponge just to kind of do a little bit of ink on it. And then I really went on the corners of it as well. Because this accordion's out, I didn't want there to be any pages that didn't have anything just because I wanted everything to look super distressed. And you guys, it would be really cool to use the, um, the uh, oh gosh, why did my brain just go totally blank? Do y'all do that? Yeah, okay, antiquing spray. That would be cool to do on these as well. Um, so you, you see, I'm just using regular glue stick and start just gluing the outside parts together to put the whole accordion. Um, now I'm gonna hang these. So I used a little bit of thread um, that I doubled over for my center part. You could use uh, fishing line, just anything on that center part. Heck, you could even use twine if you wanted to, just to make it hold up. I was even thinking, wouldn't it be cool if we painted these pages, like just kind of watercolored them? So it's a little bit haphazard of watercolor. That would add really neat color to these as well, but I just love the book look too. I think that's book look. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, sometimes I say words and then you just, I just have to laugh because I'm like, that just sounded kind of weird. All right. Anyways, so once again, once I get all of these glued together, um, then that's when I really start folding it around just to see, oh, is it going to be enough? And I was like, oh yeah, that's pretty good. So back to distressing. Here's where I think that spray would come in super handy. But one thing I want to say is I wish when I did this, I would have had gloves on. Mm -hmm. Because if y'all have distressed with ink pads before, you know it is super messy. So what I, I would definitely suggest <laughs> using gloves. I'm so bad about that. Or I'll put them on the first of the project and then my hands get hot and then I take them off and then I'm like, holy moly, why did I just take off? But anyways, all right, so here's my thread. I'm just gonna double it over and lay it right down in the middle. I'm gonna actually use a little bit of scotch tape to hold it as well, so it holds right in place. And then I will glue uh, those two pieces together to make that accordion. But can you imagine all the different styles and designs we could do with this? I wanna try a hanging Christmas tree. I think that would be a lot of fun to do. So here's that last part, and you can kind of see I just kind of fluff it all around, holding it by the string and look how cute these are ah i just love them so much all right friends thanks so much for watching don't forget to follow for more